So today I want to show you a fun way for generating chords from a random stream of notes. I added the ideas from this video to the PDF of tips and tricks I keep on updating. If you are interested, it's available on my Patreon together with the project file from this video and from many other videos. Now here I have a simple setup I made in the note grid. It's basically a trigger source. It's triggering the dice module which generates random values I then quantize to a scale. And I have also a the chance module here that adds probability so the voice is not always playing. This will be my source of random notes. It's quite a simple setup as you can see. But I have the note grid here on a track of its own and you can see. And this I'm sending to another track. This one has the polymer synthesizer and it's set to receive the notes from the note grid right so if we go back to the note grid this is how it will sound like right again a sequence of random notes and in this case i would like to generate uh, generate chords from this and i want the chords to move together with these notes so for this we can use the new shift register that was added in the last update. We have here a new module, the shift register. Right, a shift register will work similarly to a sample and hold. So it will also take a snapshot of a signal whenever it's being triggered. But in addition to this, it will also shift the snapshots throughout its outputs. So let's uh, quickly see this in action. The signal that we will use is again the quantized signal from the random notes that we have here and i would like this to happen slower than the main triggers right so the uh, chords will change and will play slower right so for this for example we can use the clock divide module right we will use the same triggers but then let's say divide this by 16 right so now only after 16 triggers we will get a change in chords this will trigger the shift register and now let's say that we want to start with the chords that have three notes right so the shift register can go up to eight channels let's go with the three for now right and let's see this also quickly on the value readout modules here so we can see how this is working i will change them to semitones right so we can see the the notes Right, and you can see that the upper note will move downward right with each trigger and a new note will be sampled. So for example, here we have three, uh, G3. Now the G3 after a trigger, it moved down. Right, then it will move even further down. The C3 will move down. You can see now we have C3 and G3 and here we have now a new note. Right, so let's wait for it. Now here we have g3 and c3 now here we'll have g3 here we'll have a sharp 4 this was the new note and now here we have f4 which is the new note so with each trigger the notes in this case will shift downward right and we get always a different set of three notes that in this case will um, compose our chords Right, so let's get rid for the for a second from the readout modules. And now let's say that we will use this for chords. So we will use three more note out modules, right? One for each note of the chord. So we have three note out modules. Now I have here another track, right? Again, set to receive notes from the note grid. This is the polysynth. It's set also to 16 channels of polyphony because again, I want to create chords. I want to create polyphonic voices, right? But in this case, it's set to receive the notes from MIDI channel number two. So again, in the note grid, if I go to these uh, note out modules, I can change here the MIDI channel to number two. So now these, uh, opala, these modules will send the notes only to the MIDI channel number two, which is the chord or the voice for the chords that I have here set. And now we can drive two separate voices from within one instance of the note grid. 
Right, so again, the notes will come from the shift register. We have for now a set of three notes, right? Chords with three notes. And the clock divider will gate or will trigger these chords. Right, so now we have three note chords that will change. according to the random notes coming from this uh, little setup here. Right? So now we can do a few things. For example, we can take the first two notes here once, two octaves down, once an octave down, right? Again, to create more uh, spread in the notes. And um, so under pitch, we have the octave, uh, right? I can take it once, two octaves down. This will be between the shift register and the MIDI out or the note out. And I will take another one with an octave down and this will be for the second channel. Right, we can also add another note, so another output on the shift register. Right, so we'll have now four um, outputs here. Right, and we need another note out. The note itself will come from the fourth output. Right, but in this case we can have it maybe playing an octave up. Hoppalach, an octave. Right, and then this will go here. But maybe we can add here a bit of randomness with the chance module, so it will not play all the time, let's say 62% of the time. Right, so already we get four note chords. Now I have here another voice, this is another polymer. Right, also here it's set to receive notes from the node grid and it's set to MIDI channel number three. Right, so in this case, let's add two more outputs, right, two more note outputs, let's say one, and I will change this to be MIDI channel number three. Right, so now it will go to the third voice that I have here. Even though it's, this is just one instance of the note grid, we can still spread the notes to various um, voices through different MIDI channels. Right, I will add two more um, outputs here on the shift register, so we have two more notes. Right, but now instead of triggering this with the um, clock divider or the clock division, we can also create something a bit more rhythmic by using, for example, the gates module to gate these voices. And what we will do, we'll use once a seven step sequence and once a five step sequence. Right, and I want this to be a polymetric instead of polyrhythmic. So I'm going to use the phase module or two even. Right, one will count seven steps, one will count five steps. This will go to the gate modules. Now we are using an external phase source, so, so we don't need the pre-code. We can disconnect this. Now I want to use a higher clock resolution to drive this, right? The triggers we had before are basically quarter notes or uh, triggers of four. I want this to be 16th notes. So if I change this to 16, this will drive the counters and we also need a way to reset everything so we'll use the transport playing module and this will go to the reset input right let's set this to pulses we don't want gates in this case and this will go and will trigger right this uh, third voice that i have here the polymer right i can Solo this for a second. So again, it takes the notes from the shift register 
It takes the notes from the random source, but I'm triggering this and playing this rhythmically with two gate modules. Right, so again, from one instance of the node grid, we have one random node sequence, one random nodes um, chords, right, and then also rhythmic variation here, and all thanks to the shift register. Have here a few more voices for context, uh, open hi-hats, more hi-hats. Have here bass and a kick drum, of course. And that's it. Uh, I hope you will go and explore this fun idea with the shift register. Uh, consider joining us on Patreon and Discord. Thank you for watching. Cheers.